Hello once again everyone, I am playing with Bowie with another video game gameplay video. This time it's The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition for the PC. So this is actually a game file that I had created during a previous Twitch stream. And there's going to be a little bit of explaining to go with it. But first, let's hop right into the game, shall we? Alright, so here we are in a beautiful Skyrim. Uh, this train of people are my companions, or followers, or literally some of them are from the companions, there's uh, three of them from the companions, and uh, yeah, and uh, and this is, th this is my character, elfin, healer, female, thing. Uh, I remember when I streamed this game, people were saying that uh, my character looked like the uh, offspring of Link and Zelda, so... You know, take that as you will. She kind of looks like Link, and uh, I use magic, like Zelda. So I guess it, I guess it works. It works good as a, as a head cannon. All right, but uh, yeah. So as you can see, uh, I'm just hanging out here in Riverwood casually. Uh, just you know, like this is supposed to be the beginning of the game, sort of. Uh, but uh, as you can see, uh, I didn't exactly start in Helgen as you're supposed to, which is right here. See, as you can as you can see, it hasn't been marked off yet, and uh, yeah. So all of the other places that I've been to are uh, getting getting quite numerous at this point. Uh, I've got about 20 hours into this save already, and I haven't even started the beginning of the game yet. So how did that work? So one of the mods that I have of the many that uh, I will list right here. Uh, those mods, uh, one of them, uh, Another Start, Live Another Life, lets you start anywhere you want. Well, not anywhere, but it, it gives you like a, a bunch of different choices, and they're sort of mostly like role-playing uh, ideas. I started off just, apparently just in, in Windhelm. Like, I think I picked a thing that was like, oh yeah, I, I came here on a ship or whatever, and then I just started in Windhelm, and then, you know, just went off from there. Uh, I wanted to do a handful of different things before I actually started the main storyline quest. And when I was going to be ready to do the main storyline quest, which is now, uh, I wanted to have a whole bunch of followers with me, which did, you know, there, there they are. They're kind of, they're kind of lagging behind me a little bit. Uh, so my character is, uh, like I mentioned, a healer. Uh, I'm going with like this weird little role play uh, build where uh, my followers are the ones that do all the fighting, and I just sort of hang back and uh, and heal them. Yeah, so uh, it's been pretty good so far. I really enjoy this idea where, you know, I'm sort of like a, an MMORPG style healer where, you know, the rest of my team does the fighting and I do the healing because, uh, I don't know, I, I typically like the, playing the healer in games. So I wanted to do that here and I found the correct mods to do that. Uh, Alduin will just kind of be uh, at the, the tail end. Ha, huh, get it? He's a dragon. Tail end. The tail end of his attack on Helgen. Which, uh, I think, yeah, there he goes. There he is. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> Literally, I will see you later. Oh, this is... Oh, that's right. I remember that. So, normally in the vin in, vin in the vanilla game, when you come back to Helgen, whenever that happens, uh, you will find that Helgen has been taken over. The destroyed Helgen, which is where I'm at right now, has been taken over by bandits. Oh, okay. They're actually here. All right. So, I'm deep into the Restoration Tree, but also the Conjuration Tree, because I wanted, uh, on demand, an extra follower. I definitely want lots and lots of followers here. Where are we going now, friends? Uh, oh, <laughs> and the music, right? <laughs> As you can tell, this isn't exactly Skyrim music. Uh, I have my own custom music, and one of them, as you're hearing, is the theme of Infinite from Sonic Forces. <laughs> I liked the music. I thought it worked well as a as a as a fighting music. You'll uh, you'll hear some very strange choices throughout the game here, but uh, I'm using Stone Flesh here just to kind of well, yeah, kind of bump up my alteration level and also keep myself safe. Yeah, from stuff like that there. Oh, get away from me, please. There we go. Oh, good night. All right. Uh, my character literally is incapable of fighting. I don't have anything really into an offensive branch, uh, an offensive skill branch 
So, I'm just all, like, restoration and, like, I, I have some illusion, some alteration, and a bunch of conjuration. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, gonna get my guy up in here, my Dramora Lord. He's my absolute favorite summon. I love the Dramora Lord. I love what a trash talker he is. And he's super strong. I definitely, uh, I prioritize having melee followers because, uh, well, you know, I'm ranged, technically. And, uh, I don't really do very well up close, so I need people to actually compensate for that. Unlike other gameplay videos that I've done, this isn't gonna be like, uh, you know, one non-stop video. Uh, I'm gonna be cutting out quite a bit of time, um, where things don't really happen. Because Skyrim is sort of a game where, um, you know, you're just kind of walking around a lot, and, you know, for good good long periods of time, nothing, it, nothing interesting really happens. So I'm going to be sort of skipping out, skipping in and out to, uh, you know, the more interesting portions of the video, should that happen, which will probably, oh, okay, we, um, we, we took our job a little seriously there, Jamora Lord, thank you. Alright, so this is how we're going to activate the main storyline quest. Now, obviously, uh, in the vanilla Sky Skyrim, you know, you escape Helgen while Alduin is attacking, and then, you know, you go through there, and then, you know, you have to go, like, underground, and then you emerge, and then you go out to Riverwood. But here, we have to search this burn corpse, which per turns to ash as you touch it. A leather journal survived the attack. So we're going to read this journal. And it should give us the next portion of the quest. I think. I might have to, I might have to actually turn the pages. All right. The cave mentioned. Okay, so I guess... Oh, it might be the exit of the cave where you're supposed to come out from. Let me go check that. Oh, okay, yeah, that is the case. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is where you exit out from. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this looks like it. This definitely looks like it. So, um, oh, hello. <laughs> this guy's just getting attacked by this bear. So, I have this, I have another mod called, uh, one with nature, which basically makes it so uh, animals don't attack me by default. But I think I'm gonna have to change that here. I think I'm gonna have to use a spell on this guy. If you hit him for there, we go. If you hit him for long enough, he'll get angry at you, and uh, oh, and then the game will lag. There we go. Very, very good. All right, so unfortunately, I actually have to fight this cave bear. I'm, you know, not a big fan of that. I don't really like uh, fighting the. Oh, hey, it's this guy. What are you doing back here? <laughs> this is, so this is unvoiced here. Uh, so can you see what's going on here? This is unvoiced because obviously this isn't in the vanilla game. This is mod added. So basically they just have the uh, the actors here just kind of moving their lips and see, and you know, showing the subtitles down there on the bottom. <laughs> he just drops to the ground. Oh god, here you go, buddy. Here's your potion. No, that doesn't work. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have one. Pretty sure I have healing potions. Unless, oh, I hope I didn't hand them all to my. Okay, good. I was gonna say I hope I didn't hand them all to my uh, my followers, which I have been doing. Looks like he's gone for good this time. Oh, okay. So now he's actually talking. So now. This place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. Yes, okay, so I was runs the mill in gonna the say just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. Yeah, I was gonna say that at some point, uh almost certainly, uh this will kind of, you know diverge itself into the actual legitimate vanilla main storyline and then from there you just you just keep on going also something worth mentioning that uh, worth cutting out is the fact that i like to explore and collect everything so that's not very interesting to watch either kind of like like that collecting thistles nobody wants to see me collect flowers i already picked one so wow you just automatically knew that it was so weird to go to like white run and stuff and, and talk to the characters there and, and listen to them talk and not have them have any lines about dragons or, you know, the Helgen or the dragon attack or anything. 
they're just talking about like the rebellion and you know it was, like stuff that was happening going on before the dragon attack it was so weird it's it felt a little empty but like i don't know it was it was kind of neat too so a couple things worth mentioning here while these uh, guys are talking uh, yeah, the, one of the mods that I have uh, just improves the flora and the fauna of Skyrim, and it just, honestly, in my opinion, it's just, it makes the great, it makes the game look so great. Um, it looks amazing. I just, I love how all this looks with the, all the flowers just kind of dotting the land and uh, these nice looking trees and what have you. Sweet. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. Free stuff. All right, so that's a little bit of an interesting development. So I had been to Whiterun and Dragon's Reach a, a number of times, but I guess for the purposes of this particular quest, I literally cannot fast travel right now to Whiterun or to Dragon's Reach. So that's a little interesting. Also, I'm gonna go in here first because uh, there's a quest here that I always like to take at the beginning of the game, and you know, vanilla. Alrighty then, there we go. Falls Barrow, northwest of town. Only to the edge of town. <laughs> Alrighty then. So that that's the reason why I decide to take this quest is because it also happens to occur in Bleak Falls Barrow, which is where I'm supposed to go next. Alright, so off we go on our journey towards White Run City. We're on the road to White Run City. Which, uh, you know, what, what's the name? Keep, bring my friends along the way. Yeah, my, all my friends are here. Uh, but yeah, so I have this one power here called Adventurers Assemble. Just in case my uh, followers ever get stuck or lost or something, all I gotta do is highlight and press Z. And then, uh, boom, there they all are. Oh my. Yep, they just all just come pouring out of me like water. So now we are going to progress through the main storyline quest. So this is where the dragons... Uh, well, once you get past a certain point, the dragons start spawning. It's after you fight the first dragon, which is a quest, a scripted sort of dragon fight. And then after that, the dragons start spawning in the wild. So at, at this point, I've literally had no dragons spawning on me. Uh, it's been pretty peaceful, which, you know, I don't really much care for that. I, I would rather have the dragon spawn on me. Give me that lavender. <laughs> and, uh, you know, just kind of have that, uh, that extra added difficulty. Uh, right now, the difficulty, I have it on the highest, as I will show here, yeah, legendary difficulty. So, yeah, <laughs> just in case anybody didn't believe me. Alrighty then, here we are in Whiterun. And, uh, yeah, for some reason the town music isn't playing. Oh, now, now I hear it, just barely. I also have a, like an audio mod, which was uh, a manual installation. I could not use my mod organizer to install it. I literally had to put it in the data file or er, folder, and it I, it makes it it makes the game sound really nice. I like this audio mod. Alrighty, here we go. Got to talk to the Jarl. Oh, and get uh, yeah encountered by Irolith here. <laughs> I've been here before. Why the guard let you in. This, uh, really? On. I had to let myself in, apparently. Alright then, hello. Oh, you were at Helgen. Yeah, everybody gather around here. Let's uh let's talk. Let's have a let's have a nice chat. <laughs> Anything you can say in front of me, you can say in front of my friends. Alright then, so just like that. We are on the road to Bleak Falls Barrow, which uh, I think I went the wrong way. All right, take two. All right, so here we are going onto the road to Bleak Falls Barrow, which, all right, well, I, I think I went the right way this time. So I see it a little bit snowier, which is uh, indicative of Skyrim. A good portion of it is covered in snow. So yeah, you know, here, here we are, we're, we're, we're Skyrimming. Alrighty then, so I'm going to be running into some bandits, I believe, again. Because uh, bandits are... Uh, I think they're the most common human enemy that you run into. And also, they're very numerous in the early goings of the game. So I'm just going to drop my uh, Dremora Lord right there and uh, let him go straight to work on this bandit outlaw. 
Get him, boy. All right, then. So now we've got a little Final Fantasy XIV music. Uh, I have this buff here on my uh, five, which is called Benediction, I believe. Yeah, and it gives it's a mod added thing. Three. <laughs> oh God, three hundred and seventy-one percent health regeneration and stamina regeneration for sixty seconds. Pretty gosh darn good, if I say so myself. Obviously, these sort of things, like, you know, the restoration spells and whatnot, do not work on my conjuration summons. But, they do work on my human allies like Vilkus. Or is that Farkas? Oh, that's Farkas. Okay. Oh, I think it's this way. Uh, yeah, this is looking pretty correct here. All right, now I'm on the correct pathway here. As you can tell, yep, there we go. Confirmation. All right, then, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop my dude here. There are some archers here, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this. And I'm gonna use this spell here. This basically makes me invulnerable but also I can't do anything for 10 seconds. I, I want to believe that that actually will get better as my illusion rank goes up. But uh, at this point, my character, yeah, there are some archers. My character is so frail that uh, if I get sniped by even one arrow, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it, I feel like it, it should depend on their level. But yeah, getting sniped by one arrow usually means that I die. So I want to be very careful. And see, that's that's sort of like an extra, uh, you know, an extra layer of difficulty to it. You know, is that my character is just like so weak that I have to be very careful with where I go and and how I engage fights and and uh, and go to new areas. All right, there are dudes right here, as I recall. Uh, I'm just gonna. What is this? Skill called again? Shadow Shadow Form. I'm just gonna shadow form right up to their faces. Kind of grab their attention here. There we go. My uh, followers don't really engage fights until um, the enemies. I believe either they either they run into the enemies face to face, which is kind of difficult to do because I have to like actually spawn, uh, you know, a, a conjured. Uh, you know, Dramora Lord or, or whatever, right up in their face and have them notice each other. Or I have to walk straight up to them and then, you know, once, once the music starts playing, once the battle music starts playing, then yeah, then uh, everybody's detecting each other. Hey there. Oh, okay. So we got some undead here. All right. No big deal. No big deal. Dramora Lord is on the case. No one escapes. Oh, okay. I'll just say, th th this is my favorite thing to do, honestly, with this build, is that, you know, I get to just kind of sit back and just kind of, you know, let everybody else do the fighting while I just kind of loot. Oh, here we go, I think. Was this the guy that died? I don't There was two people here, wasn't there? So, yeah, currently I have three... Yeah, I have, I have five total followers. I have three, uh, you know, melee fighters up here, plus the Dramora Lord, and then I have two archers, which kind of... Oops. Provide backup assistance. I'm gonna get my candlelight spell going here and give me a little bit of light here because it is dark. Huh? I believe that is the work of another one of the mods that I have that improves the lighting and uh, yeah, it makes uh, dark areas aptly dark, surprisingly enough. Ooh, hello. Yeah, see, there goes my alteration going up, and that's worth a level up. Oh, yeah. Feels good, man. Oh, there's a giant spider in the way, apparently. And I am <clears throat> I am good pals with spiders, uh, but I cannot tell if the spider is actually registering as an enemy for this particular portion here. Spiders, I'm cool with. Like, literally any animal, insect, whatever, as long as it's not on two legs. Or, no, I'm sorry, That even, even then it's still... Uh, oh, no, wait. I can't tell. The spider? No, the spider's not dead. What were they attacking just now? Oh, this guy. Okay, cool. Uh, you're a little big and in my way, so... Yeah, sorry to anybody that's arachnophobic out there that had to witness that. That was, that was a big boy. 
Yeah, I thought as much. What what do I have to do here? Oh. Oh, it's one of these. Uh, yeah, there's uh remember there's at least one is Oh there it is, there it is. So snake wait a minute. Huh? Where would this have come from? I I I can't tell this might be the first one or the last one. So it might be snake snake whale or snake whale snake. Let's try the first idea that I just said. Okay, and that was it. All right, very good. Yeah, my character is like this big, ginormous, goody two-shoes, you know, goody, goody, can do no wrong, uh, wants to help everybody, you know, that, that, that's, or, you know, in the healer. That's, uh, that, that's the whole roleplay idea that I'm going for with this character. Like, you know, my character is super nice and, uh, you know, does, can do no wrong, basically. I love that line. I smell weakness oh my god he's so cool all right and so we get some skeevers hanging out here big old big old rats and uh they as as per, as as i mentioned before i'm cool with all animals so uh as long as they are animals and they exist then they're fine with me oh that's what i was saying the thing about two legs uh oh that's oh that's right i have to destroy this here so that we can progress um I'm, I'm cool with Spriggans as well, and those guys are on two legs, and also, well, the spiders are on eight legs, so... Hello? Can, can we do the, do the fighting? Okay, there we go. I was about to say, oh no, I'm about to get hit, aren't I? I thought, I, I'm so worried about, like, somebody's just gonna come out of nowhere and just snipe me. Alrighty then, uh, you know what, while they're doing that, sort of, let me do, uh, my level up here. Oh, I got an achievement for that. Sweet. I, I guess that's because I got level 25. Um, there was something specific. Oh, uh, yeah, I wanted to do illusion here, dual casting. Yeah, it's cost 50 percent more to cast in, or 25 percent stronger. I think. Yeah, that's definitely what I want to do here. Let me uh get this here. Oh, I do have enough to do that. Okay, cool. Very good. So then this will last slightly longer now. What's 25% of, of 10? It's, so what, now it lasts like 12 and a half seconds or so? Maybe 15? I don't know, I think it matters, it's just the level. Let me just check this really quick. Uh, it's just, it still says 10, all right. All right, oh, yeah, let's not do that. I do have my ward spell uh, here, just in case. Uh, and again, I think I'm just so deep into the restoration tree that I can hold this up forever. You see my Magicka is constantly regenerating as I'm holding up this ward. Um, yeah, so I'm I'm now... <laughs> oh, that was an arrow. I don't want to get hit by that. Uh, I'm now basically invincible to an extent. Um, I think uh, for magic, definitely. I think it applies to shouts. But magic, I know for sure. Like The, the ward is basically to block magic. But arrows, no. Ar it does not block arrows, so I want to, again, not get hit by those. Uh, so, ooh, that's, uh, uh, issue. There we go. Alright, cool. Just gonna, yep. Loot that. Loot that. Loot that. Get a little light going on here. Stone flesh. Oh, hello. <laughs> Surprise! Wait, I just got a... What was that? Bound Bow? Oh, Lesser War. I don't know how I read Bound Bow there. That wasn't even close. So this particular guy is... Um, he's stuck here because of the spiders. And... Uh, and uh, he's, he's gonna backstab me. All right, so this guy's not gonna backstab me in a way that, you know, is gonna kill me or anything, but he's gonna run away with this after promising that he would give it to me. Yeah. Oh, okay, my my teammates are just gonna instantly kill this guy. Or not, what's happening here? Oh, he's actually fighting. Oh, no, we're fighting a, a Draugr, apparently. All right. Soup, oh, no. I had just got the same person twice. Uh, 60 seconds of buffing. All right, you know, I guess we'll just all hang out in this corner together. All right, sweet. 
So not only did we kill all those uh, Draugr, but killed this guy too, who thought he was going to get away with the Golden Claw. I have to read this, I think, or no? No, I don't. Um, so I think this guy, if I recall correctly, he didn't actually figure out how to use the claw. The way they use the claw is, uh, I think it, it's consistent through all the claws that you can pick up in the entire game. Uh, and as you see here, there's three markings here on the claw. And you have to match those up once I get to the uh, the wall that uh, that you do this for. And then you just kind of shove the claw in there and then it activates the door and then you can move on through. Oh, I want to be careful for uh, yeah, any trigger triggers on the floor or traps, which uh, usually appear in rooms like this one. <coughs> um, uh, these guys are just dying instantly. Um, also, yeah, I wanted to give like a quick shout out to my uh, good pal Dragonite, fellow Skyrim fan. Hello, I know that you're not actually dead, Mister. So, yeah, that. Um, yeah, for uh, he, he knows that all like all of my my teammates here that uh, are with me. I like to call them the crew. And the crew's assembling. It wasn't the same exact crew as it was in uh, you know Legendary Edition slash Old Rim, but um, <laughs> but uh. Yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the crew. That's, that's just their name. The crew is here. Oh, hello. I destroyed you. Yeah, that was my life flashing before my eyes there. I, I don't want to get hit with one of those either, because those will almost certainly kill me as well, as has happened before. Oh, oh, me that. Uh, I think this particular portion is well known for having, I'd imagine everybody, or not everybody, but like most players first encounter with a troll. And once again, because I have that uh, skill, or skill, what am I saying, mod, that mod that makes me cool with nature, uh, trolls don't attack me either. <laughs> This is a big boy. How am I supposed to get past this? Oh god. Uh, let me squeeze through. I can't squeeze. Oh my god. Let him fall. What is happening? <laughs> Look at him. He's, <laughs> He's got the shakes. He's got the shakes. Oh my god. Yeah, one of these guys need to like kill each other. So yeah, this, this happens frequently. Uh... I think not, not just because of the mod, but I think mostly due to the fact that they don't really engage me. Uh, animals fight each other, which which does happen normally, but I think it happens much more often because, again, they don't engage me. They can only just engage each other, and this fight is taking forever. Good God. Oh, okay, I got around him. Weehaw! Hello, Fran! Oh, it's just one friend? Friend. Oh wow, they're just shooting arrows through this little gap here. That was cool. Nice job, Janessa. Got another one of these. Hey. Ah! Okay, sweet. Got rid of the guillotines and uh, and oh my god, seriously. Well, I was going to say and got out of there, but uh, oh, there we go. Now I got out of there. Okay, can we uh, fight these guys, please? Can we fight these guys, please? Thanks, friends. One, two, I only counted three there. Where's the other two? There, there they are. All right, cool. <sighs> you know, sometimes I gotta take the initiative and help my team out and make sure that they don't get guillotined. All right, what the? That guy had like two, two bows on him. Beast. Alright then, so here's the portion where I actually have to use the golden claw. You know, I also have another claw that I got for a different uh, part of the game, which I completely forgot. But uh, yeah, I'll have to do that later. Anyway, what do we got here? Bear. Bear, like, 
moth thing, I guess. Bear, moth, and I guess that's an owl? Alright. So let's kind of move them all at the same time. We want bear, moth, owl. Owl. I think that's... Okay. I literally had to just move each ring three times. And then there we go. Should do it. Okay. Time for mission. If you couldn't tell by the door going down. Alright. Very nicely done. Good job, me. Thanks! Alrighty. So off we continue. Oh, that's right. This is the boss. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, this is the boss area. Alrighty then. So we're up to the boss here. Uh, I don't remember what exactly happens here. I think he's in a coffin, in a tomb here. Yeah, he's in here. But uh, I don't remember how he's supposed to activate. Also, yeah, this is a dragon shout worm wall, which I just got Fus, I assume, which is, uh, of course, everybody knows Fus Roda. It's, uh, I get the first word of it. You need three words in total, and each word needs to be activated via, or I think some of them automatically activate, you know, because of the storyline quests and whatnot, because they have to activate. But for the ones that don't, you need a dragon soul for each word. And first you need to learn the word via, you know, word wall like this one. They're, uh, they're dotted all throughout Skyrim. And then, and then you'll have it in your magic here under shouts. And then you need to click on one of them. And then, yeah, see, you need, uh, one dragon shout, or dragon soul for each shout. As you can see, I already got all three words of Aura Whisper, which is, I really, really, really like that one. Be because I get to see where enemies are well beforehand, like well before running into them. So that's definitely helpful for me as a character that needs to not get hit by enemies. Oh, I already checked that. What am I doing? Psst. And so yeah, oh, and I got the dragon stone. Okay, dope. So yeah, all right, we're done here. That was Bleak Falls Barrow. Very quick and easy. <laughs> as, you know, well, you know, with time skips and whatnot, but yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's overall a, a very simplistic and good introduction to the dungeoning, the caving, and whatnot, exploring in uh, in this game. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Thanks. Now give me some free stuff. All right, <laughs> money sounds good. Oh yeah, welcome. I'll take those. Thank you so much for taking care of those steeds. Oh 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 Riverwood oh, take those. Back to the way it used to be. All right, now it's time to sell some stuff. Some may call this junk. My favorite part of the game. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irelith and help her fight this dragon. Oh no! <laughs> so you have more oh, I did I? Than anyone else here. All right. So uh, I'm gonna skip the. Oh, oops. I don't have my hands out. I'm gonna skip the uh, the main storyline quest for a little bit here, so I can do a couple of side quests. Now, this thing that I'm walking towards uh, is happening in Markarth, and it basically just says "Answer the Prayer of the Faithful." Uh, now, this is from another mod that I have, which is called Epic Restoration. It's epic, and um, you know, wait, I think this area is something I need to mark off. Oh well, I'll do it later. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and basically, uh, there's a, a spell that you can get called Heal Prayer. And, uh, in doing that, in using Heal Prayer, it will lead you towards a quest, which is basically, uh, a quest that somebody who has, like, a good alignment is, uh, is, you know, requesting help for. So it, it's, it's really any of the vanilla quests, but, uh... Yeah, just, like, they have to be, like, a good person, basically, in order to qualify for this here prayer uh, spell to uh, just kind of mark off a quick uh, quest for you. Um, and in doing that, you get some bonus, uh, like, EXP. All right, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you <sighs> fish. Good. Uh... Nope. Never see the nope. Hey, <laughs> Try hitting me now. Oh, that's right. You can't. 
we get the... Let me just call in my friends here. Oh, whoops. I forgot that breaks my, uh... Invisibility. Oh, I couldn't use it because I'm under the invisibility thing. Should be able to use it here. There we go. Now we're talking. Well, that thief picked the wrong target to rob. Ha hee! Got him. Easy. Alright, off we continue. Oh, this guy again. So, I am waiting. If you are not here so grab, like with the uh, the thief, sometimes there will be random events that will happen, Perhaps. such as this old orc who literally wants to be killed. And there's little, there's no talking him out of it. If you if you're like, well, I don't feel like killing you actually, he'll be like, well, then go away, and then he'll stop talking to you. But uh, yeah, you literally have to just like kill this guy, and then uh, that makes him happy, you know, because uh, dying. Man, he's got a lot of EXP or HP, I should say. You know that or armor or something. Man, he is just he just, he just tanked a ton of hits there. All right, then, well, thank you for your service, friend. So this is actually my first time on this save getting to Markarth. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this area. <sighs> There's some quests that I really just don't like from Markarth. And also, the minute you step into the city, uh, there'll be like this cutscene that you get roped into and it starts a quest. Alrighty, here we are. Here comes the cutscene. <laughs> I guess I'll just uh yeah, take her uh, take her stuff. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Uh huh. All right then. Uh, so I have to read this note and then that starts the next portion of the quest. However, it looks like my uh, faithful heart in need is in here. Oof. Oh. Okay, never mind, they're over here. No. Oh, it's this guy. Gasp! Alright then, so this particular quest, I remember, uh, obviously, it revolves around Deidre, and Deidre are sort of like, uh, like, uh, or Daedra? De the Daedra, sorry. Daedra are sort of like evil gods, and, uh, and with these, uh, these Daedra, you have to use this particular spell via Epic Restoration, otherwise you get in trouble with the gods. Uh, what is it called? Uh, renounce? I think this is it. Yeah, Renounce. And uh, whenever you find out that you're in the middle of a quest that's for a Daedric Prince, you have to use this and it'll basically skip to the end of the quest and give you like a bunch of uh, rewards for not doing it. I don't feel like crushing. Oh my god, hello? Whoa! <laughs> I forgot the spooky poltergeist stuff happens here. Look at the lights in the house! Come on, let's go. No. Kill him. Crush his bones. Tear at his flesh. Wow. I don't wanna. God, my eyes. stuff. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alrighty then. Um, so there is a, like, uh, there's a specific <coughs> timing that you have to do the, the renounce spell. So yeah, so I think this would probably be the perfect timing to use it. Alrighty then. Let's, uh, let's renounce. Whee! 
Oh. Hmm. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, that was a little unexpected. I didn't, I didn't expect it to, um, oh my goodness, hello. Did it. Wow, just did everything all at once. Uh, I didn't expect it to end the Break of Dawn quest. Although, yes, now that I think about it, yeah, what's her name? Meridia is actually a Daedric Prince. I completely forgot about that one. So, I think that uh, it's gone now, isn't it? Oh, no, it's still in my inventory. Okay, interesting. Well, the new hand continues to touch the beacon. Ooh, I'll take that. Ooh, and that. And, um, yeah. So now I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, st stinky old Daedric princes or anything trying to mess with my head. And, uh, yeah. So that's how that works. Pretty much. I'm just going to loot all this stuff, and then I'm going to use this again. I don't think I have to dual cast it. I think I just have to use it with one hand. All right, let's see. What are we looking at now this time? Make sure that it's actually... Yes, it is. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, I think it might actually be the one that I was thinking of earlier. Oh, you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any <coughs> desecration of my ancestors' bodies. Wow. That's enough, Thongbor. We're done. Yeah, Thong. <laughs> Your name's Thong. The dead. No, you can't. I was going to suggest huh. that Jarl Wow, speech checks well, actually worked. Anyway. Many would walk blindly into a crypt, smelling of steel and blood, but not of fear. Hello? Okay, interesting. I Oh, this. You see the dead, and your mouth goes wet. Your stomach growls. Weird. Oh, I think I remember this now. It's uh, where am I supposed to stay? Oh, hey. You were young when you first tasted human flesh, weren't you? A brother or sister had died. An accident, of course. Then the hunger started. This is gross. What's the harm in just... To oblivion with you then. <laughs> Direct. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, thingy, I can use, uh, oh, wait, hang on. Uh, I can use, uh, this. Get out. <laughs> I just helped you. Hello? Wait. Why is there a... Oh. What? I'm confused. I just did your... quest. Hello? Why is this character, like... Is she essential? I'm so confused. What is going... There we go. Failed. Okay. <laughs> what the hell just happened? You need to leave. You've returned. Divines preserve you. You're a hero. We'll reopen the hall right away. Here, take my amulet as well. <coughs> okay. Okay, protect you. That was weird. Uh. Okay. Something tells me I did that wrong. Alrighty. I'm just gonna use my level up point on, uh, I don't know, something? I don't really remember. Oh, I think, um, let me think here. I got illusion dual casting. I should probably do alteration. Dual cast them. Where it is? Oh, here it is. No! Get back here. No! I don't wanna. Stop it. Go over there. Perfect. Alright. Sweet. Alrighty. So, <clears throat> I'm not going to worry about this quest. Um, I, I went and... Oh. I don't think I was supposed to go here. <laughs> yeah. I love the crazy elven names <clears throat> for the locations. 
in this game. They're just they're really crazy sounding. Um, so yeah, I looked up that quest, and uh, as it turns out, I was going to the way that the the quest actually progresses. I was most definitely going to uh, cancel out of that quest and fail it at some point anyway. So it didn't matter that I failed the quest. All right then. So uh, what was there was another quest that I was going to do, although. <laughs> Uh, it was actually the Meridia quest, which now I can't. Um, let me see here. How's about uh, this one? Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I think I think that's what I'll do, because I gotta do the uh, College of Winterhold quests so that I can progress and eventually become the Archmage, which is altogether awesome. To be completely honest. So yeah, I think I'm gonna. Let's do that. Oh god, it is super foggy here. What in the world? Take my advice. Don't anyway. Oh, uh, that's gonna give me a stupid miscellaneous quest. Although, oh no, I think I already got it. Never mind. Uh, oh, no, there it is. <coughs> um, so I decided to go to Riften instead. Uh, I don't know where everybody is. And uh, I was gonna talk to Mjol, because Mjol is one of the people that I want in my crew. And, uh, I don't know where she is. Oh, there she is. There we go. Now I got, uh, excuse me. Without it, I feel almost as defenseless as a newborn. I don't think I'll ever be able to find a replacement. I couldn't ask you to undertake such a treacherous journey. It would be a fool's errand. But I see that spark in your eye. And I know better than to warn you away. Grimsever rests within the Dwemer ruin of Misinchaleth. Tread carefully, friend. Those same ruins almost took my life. All right, Please sweet. Be careful. I don't wish to be the reason for your death. Quiet, you. All right, so that's that's another quest that I definitely wanted. If I'm not mistaken, it should be close-ish to the other thing that I'm looking at. Right. I could have sworn it was over in, in this general area. Uh, M. Oh, never mind. It's oh, it's that one. Okay, I completely forgot about that. All right, that's completely fine. Oh, that's a uh, that's a uh, that's a bad person. Try, noob. I'm helping. I'm dying. Right, sweet, that all worked out. Oh, I forgot that that happens. Good thing that didn't do that much damage. I have a mod that basically lets me <laughs> equip as many like necklaces and whatnot that I, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, I have like five necklaces equipped. Feels great. And even with all that stuff, I still get like one shot. So <clears throat> it's not, uh, it's not terribly broken, but uh, it's, it's a little broken. Alrighty, here we go. The Ruins of Mizulft. This person is busy. What, what are they so busy with that they can't talk to me? They're literally part of this quest. Okay, I'm just gonna, oh. Okay. Oh. Oh no! Well, that's awkward. Alrighty, so here we go. For the College of Winterhold quest. So, these ruins are inhabited by these sort of uh, mechanical marvels, which are pretty much in the form of little, like, uh, robot y looking spiders. And also, uh, uh, uh here, here comes the spiders. Uh, what are the other things? They're like, uh, orb? Well, I don't know. They're like, uh, they look like sentinels or something. They're like, they're small, they're like person-sized sentinels. But they move via, like, a, a giant ball instead of feet. So, uh, I can't remember what they're called. It's been a while. Like the... And then there's, and then there's like a super massive one that's like, 
four times the size of me that uh, usually serves as a boss of these dwarven, dwarven uh, runes. I might as well take all this stuff. Why not sit down? Okay. I, why do they have those things? Like, what, what, who's actually going to, like, stop to, you know, go through this dungeon and just sit down? Like, yeah, that's what I came here for. Sit. Uh, that little thing pushed me. Oh, no. Yeah, leave me alone, jerk face. Oh, God. It won't stop chasing me. Good lord. Uh, I think I was pissed with me. Oh, the Charises. Oh, okay. It's, I'm one with nature with these guys, apparently. Awesome. So, oh, wait, can I mine? Oh, wow, I actually can mine that. I have a pickaxe this time. Sweet. Time to get some moonstone. Hang on a second, guys. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is, uh, this is one of the side features that you can do in the game. You can mine ores. I think you can also chop down trees. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, mining ores. Um, oh, God. Oh, look, there's, there's a little trigger. It's going to make these boulders come down. Oh, this... Okay, this guy actually wants to fight me. That's interesting. So I guess maybe it's because he's not like a, you know, generic Charis. He's like a Charis Hunter Fledgling. So I guess maybe that's the difference there. Nice. Right, good, good, good. No. Okay, hello. <laughs> that guy just like... Was just like, yeah, whatever. I'm done. Right, sweet. Yeah, that's what I look for. Charis Antenna. Yum. Oh, here's one of the sphere guys. The Dwarven Sphere, that's what it's called, right. Dwarven Sphere. Yes, that's what it's called. Yeah, these guys are a little more deadlier than the, uh, than the spiders. They have like these, uh, these bolts that kind of were like crossbow bolts that are built inside of them, they can uh, kind of fire those out. Okay. I don't know if they have an electrical attack. I don't think they do. I think they just have like a, a, a melee attack and then that aforementioned crossbow bolt. Oh, hello. Let's see, is there any other jerks beyond here that I can kind of, oh yeah. And kind of grab the attention of. Yeah, this works out at, uh, additionally because I think I mentioned it earlier in this video where uh, they, my uh, my teammates here, don't really fight <clears throat> until they detect enemies or like the enemies detect them, and uh, until then they'll just kind of meander around and be like, Ooh, "What's going on?" So, I, I could potentially just get killed and they wouldn't even, like, notice that, uh, that there's anybody nearby. So, me using that skill to just literally walk up and face check the enemies uh, is definitely useful in terms of just getting them in there and fighting immediately. Alrighty then. And that's uh, kind of part of the reason why I just walk up and try to attract the attention of as many of them as I can at one time so that uh, I don't have to run around constantly oh maybe I don't want to stand right there Oop. oh boy <laughs> sweet level up my illusion okay bye bye I'd rather you not you know face hump me there that's just oh oh I kind of don't want to press that switch there, because that'll push those pistons out. They don't really hurt you, but it is, you know, inconvenient to be pushed back down here. Also, I think every time those guys die, they do explode into a ball of electricity for a brief moment. Or not. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. So, uh, here's our first... Uh, interaction with a Falmer, uh, these guys like to live down here, or not down, but I should say in underground places, uh, usually the Dwemer Ruins, 
because those are most of the time underground. Yeah, it seems like there was a little bit of a war going on here between some Dwemer things and some Falmer things. So I think as I go through here, I'm going to run into more of the Falmer, which are basically like elves that have just lived underground and just look really freaky now. Oh, that's neat. I like this one. <laughs> you move 8% faster. Feels good. <laughs> I like how it's called avoidance. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm down. I'm out of here. See ya. Oh. Alright, there's one. Found him. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is, this is what these absolutely beautiful creatures look like. Also, God, he just got his face bloodied. Feels bad for him. Oh. Another one, there's an archer. Is this it? Am I just gonna keep running into one at a time? Like, this is kind of, uh, anticlimactic here. Maybe there'd be more than, oh, I don't know, one at a time, huh? Wait, oh, two! Two! I found two! Oh, speaking of two, the music, the battle music is now overlapping each other, which happens sometimes. So it just creates an unintelligible mess of music. Oh, there we go. Oof, the precision. Good lord. In before, there's nothing, like, really worth it in here. Eh, that's okay, I guess. Whatever. Well, that was all to... <laughs> Holy cow, this actually wasn't worth it. Oh, well. I got some extra EXP. Uh, so, there's this other mod that I have called ASXP. Which gives me, oh, Nito, which gives me uh, experience points based on pretty much anything that I do, and <clears throat> using those points, I can go into the mod configuration, go here. I'm pretty sure I've stored up at like a ton. I haven't used them in a while. Yeah. Oh God, I have 276,000 points ready to be spent, and yeah, you know, I can just spend it on anything here. You know, thief skills. Here's the uh, mage skills, as I just showed them, and the warrior skills. So yeah, you know, you just click on them, and then boom, you know, you gain a level up. And then that translates into an actual level up uh, in the, the actual skills. So uh, just for kicks, let me just bump up, uh, let's say, let's say enchanting. Just put that up to 43, and then as you'll see here, there it is, 43. Alrighty, so just like that, boom, 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 easy stuff. Oh, wait, it's a, it's a, uh, a Charis chest, which is literally, I think, actually, no, this is a Falmer chest, I'm sorry. So, their, their Falmer chests are literally, they're just hollowed out Charises that they just stuff things inside of. Kind of like that. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, that was the weirdest thing ever. Oh, speaking of, there they are. Although, I think that the Falmer and the Charises don't attack each other, so that's very strange. You know, they have a sort of a symbiotic relationship, but they, uh, the, the Falmers seem to murder them, possibly, just to make chests out of them. Oh dear. Wait, where? What? Oh, hello. Oh. Wow, that guy sniped me right as I turned the corner. Good thing I was in this form. Good God, that would have, that probably would have instantly killed me. That was a headshot. How you doing over there, friends? All right, great. Right. Looks awesome. All right, actually, I'm gonna do this, just in case. Just, just in case I'm needed, just in case I'm, I'm useful. This particular battle here. No, I guess not. Yeah, they're about to kill that guy. They sure did. Okay, so this is, so I can't remember exactly what the story was here. Um, let me see if I can check this here. Uh, into the ruins of Mizolf, searching for the Synod researchers. I found one man who died and suggested the Nevis. Um, yeah, so I'm looking for the staff of, uh, the staff of Ma Magus. What? Eye of Magus, right? Magus? Oh, God, I can't remember how to pronounce it. Magnus! Magnus! That was it, sorry. The staff of Magnus. Uh, I, was, I was sitting there like, wait, why does that sound weird? The, uh, the Staff of Magnus is what I'm looking for, uh, for this giant orb thing that uh, we found. Uh, I think I found it during the stream. And uh, apparently it's a, sort of a dangerous magical artifact. And uh, we need the Staff of Magnus 
in order to make it not a scary, deadly uh, ob object of magical death. So, there you go. Now you're all caught up. <laughs> very, very accurate description of what's been going on here so far with these quests. I know, I'm a very good storyteller. Alright. Hello, everybody in here. Oh, hello. Who are you? What do you got there? A little alteration increasing book. I see, I see. Thank you. Yeah, I, I see you were happy about that. You're just kind of, you're like, yay, somebody read my book. The Wheel of Pain Amulet. I keep seeing this every so often. I don't know what that's for. Oh, there we go. And time to run away. Because <laughs> there was an enemy right there. Or, wait, was there? Oh, yeah, there he is. Hello? Turn around? He was right there! Oh my god, he's on me! Ah. He won't go away from... What is this? What is going on? Wow. That was troubling. No, oh, this might actually still be troubling. He was like, okay, there we go. He's dead now. I was gonna say, like, even after getting hit and staggered by, like, everybody, he was still staring right at me. I probably don't want to mess with those guys. Or anything, for that matter. Oh, this area. I remember this area. Wow. I just I just happened to remember this area. Maybe this is why. Maybe it was kind of... It was kind of this scary-ish Balmer guy shooting electricity at me, which I don't appreciate. Oh, your heart. Uh, yeah, I'll just take uh, this shortcut over here. Just uh, sidestep that. Nice. That was quick. Damn. Break that guy. And the other one. Where, where'd the other one go? Oh. I should probably look to the the mob of my followers. Yeah, I was gonna say there's a chest. There was a chest over here that I saw. Oh. Yeah. What have we got? Oh, ebony armor. Nice. Uh, all right, very good. That's the first ebony armor I've found thus far in this run. Zoop, zoop. Zoop, zoop. <laughs> I'm just zooping all these things off of that shelf. Where's the other? Here it is. Oh, God. Oh. I... <sighs> I, I seriously just Mr. Magoo'd that because... The Charis was just like standing right there. He was right in my face, so I backed off immediately. And I just happened to avoid those spikes that I didn't even realize were there. That was pretty cool. Thank you, Mr. Charis. See, I am one with nature. Yeah, and they just, they help me out. Oh, this is a chest. I forgot that these things exist. Oh my, that's cool. <laughs> Speaking of cool, here's cold. All right, awesome. Yep. Just gonna raid all of the Dwemer stuff. Just sell it back to everybody. Like, hey guys, I went to a Dwemer ruin. What have you done lately? Oh, what's that? Not went into a Dwemer ruin lately? Well, psh, sucks to be you, man. Alright, then. There's a dude right up there. I, he, he's right in front of me, pretty much. That was not acceptable. Oh, that's. There's an enemy nearby. Hello. Oh! I think I kind of remember, God, this, those guys have such beautiful voices. I think I kind of remember this place? Oh man, I remember getting confused by this place. Yeah, because it's like, it's, it's like this humongous area. And, uh, and there's like four different exits or something. And I was like, man, where am I supposed to go? I think the left side is basically the end area. Okay. Well, it marked it as dungeon cleared. I don't know why. I'm definitely not done with this dungeon just yet. I can't remember. What is this door? Is this one, like, locked or something? It's, oh, okay. It's a door I have to pick. This guy's just piecing out. He's like, whatever, dude. I'm just gonna skulk my way out of here. Alright, awesome. <laughs> That's why I just call the Falmer Skulker, he just skulks away. I'm like, see ya, dude. I'm done with this. They don't pay me enough. Oh. Nice. Good job, me. 
Alrighty. Hello? Is that about a home? Oh wow, look, more stuff that I can mine. Yay! My favorite part of the game. Oh my. Oh, that's the thing. That's that's the big towering monster that I was uh, mentioning earlier. It's called the Centurion Master. Right, let me just kind of, uh, kind of bu like try to at least buff one of them and be careful about it. Seemed that that was not actually necessary. Oh my. The way he just kind of like. What? Hello? No! What? No! He just went through the. No! Hi. Alright. Well. <laughs> so, um. That, that tends to happen a lot in uh, in 3D games. If you ever, like, clip through the world, I think once you reach... I, I don't know exactly how it works, but I, I'm very familiar with it. It's like if you ever clip through the ground or something and you fall all the way to, like, the, the, like the world border on the very bottom of the world, it will respawn you? Well, not, not respawn you, but it'll instantly place your coordinates back to, like, a solid, uh, a, 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 the, the nearest solid platform, I think, in the same, like, coordinate. So, yeah, that's why where he fell through here and then, like, appeared, like, right here. So, maybe he fell a little bit more down this way or something. I don't even know. But <laughs> I was lucky that he came back up because, uh, you know, I really didn't want to miss all those drops on him. Here we go. I mean, I just, I can't get over, <laughs> I can't get over that Centurion Master falling through the ground. It's like, I saw him falling through and I was like, oh no, please get him quick, get him quick, get him quick. But, uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't quite press E on him in time. <laughs> he just fell right through. Alrighty. So now we should actually run into the only living person left. Spoilers. Of the Synod researchers that were down here. G Gavros, oh, here we go. Is that you? I'd almost given up hope. <clears throat> Let me get the door. What the? What are you doing here? What have you done with Gavros? This machine. <laughs> Hang on, I just need to read these books. With... I don't know. I can just take all this stuff while he's talking. Of enchantments went into it. Oh, this place. Let's just hope they got it right this time. I think I remember what I have to do here. I have to line up the uh, things so that the sunlight beams through at a specific angle. Or that might have been. That might be the other place. <laughs> Janessa. I love Janessa is the one that's basically been giving a running commentary here out of all of my followers. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna walk past you, dude. You're uh, you're going a little too slow. Which one is this? Uh, this is the one where I have to... Oh, this is the one where I have to use... Uh... Right, I have to use destruction spells. No, I don't think this is, this, this is the one where I have to uh, burn this, burn the things and make them move. I think I just have to press the buttons. Oh, oh yeah, here we go, okay. Oh, there we go, wait a second. Oh, I think, wait. Oh, hang on a second here. I remember there being like a glitch or something, like if you spam these buttons, on, on old room anyway, if you spammed these buttons it would screw up and you wouldn't be able to press them anymore. These results, they're not at all what they should be. Oh, hello. This projection should be lit up like the night sky. Huh, the Eye of Magnus. Something in winter. Huh. I think we're done here. Oh, rude. Uh, from one dungeon to the next. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Can I kind of shortcut my way through here now? Uh, oh, whatever. Didn't even matter. There we go. Be careful. Uh, oh, sorry. All right. <clears throat> what the... You have done well. What's the hurry? The trying times are ahead. God, 
I cannot stop running. I can't stop running. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, so that was the spooky ghost guy that keeps appearing to me uh, to tell me <laughs> pretty much what I have to do. <laughs> I can stop running. Oh god, gotta go fast. Alrighty, so here we are at the beautiful College of Winterhold. Um, yeah, what was it? So. What happened there was I was uh, I used the auto run key, which is C, and I was sprinting, and that guy appeared and you know for that like little cutscene and it just made me just continuously run. So, yeah, that was uh, not something that I want to happen again. Oh hey, it's this part of the game that I remember. I don't know what. This is where I have to have to help fight the uh, the guy that uh, is here from the Thalmor. And basically just uh, here for uh, their their uh, intentions or whatever. I want it down now. I want to know what he's doing in there. Oh god, okay, now we're going. And yeah, nice aim. Standby. Hey, can you stop? This person is busy. Wow, you don't say. Oh my, my eyes. What in the you world? Right? Can you walk? <laughs> what just happened? I need you on your feet. Why well, it's telling me to go outside? Oh my. Where exactly did he? I don't remember this particular part. I remember him doing uh, this thing with the orb and the the, the eye, but uh, yeah, I don't remember Savos, uh, the the archmage of the College of Winterhold, getting blown out of the building. Oh, hey, oh, he did. All right, that's not good. And I can't seem to interact or do anything. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Hey man, it's the right thing to do, okay? Jeez. <sighs> Some people. Alright, so I think, uh, what is he? He spawns like a bunch of ice wraiths, I think it was? Oh, those are. Those are definitely enemies. Oh, magic anomalies. Alright, cool. Oh, finally. Alright then. I can't. where did they all die at? Oh wait, I see them running away from over here. Ah, there's one I missed. Alright then. Let's get as many soul gems out of these things that I can. Uh, this one I missed. Hello, can you not do that? Alrighty. Bring back that staff before Ancano brings the whole college down around us. <laughs> Alright. What is the Torque of Labyrinthian? What is that? Is that an equip? Also, wait, what? Where's the thing that I just got? Hello? Hello? Oh, here it is. Wow. All right, whatever. I'll take it. Um, yeah, wait, what was that thing called? Here it is. Oh, it's like a, oh, it's a missile. What the? Okay, it's a miscellaneous thing. Awesome. Alrighty. Alright, here we are once again in White Run. And, uh, yeah, so I, I did a few other things since uh, the college winter hold. I, I, I fixed the place up. Every, everything's good with the college. Uh, no, no, no more possibilities of destroying the college or winter hold or the world or anything. Every, everything's nice and safe now. But, uh, yeah, I also went ahead and got Mule. Here she is. Hello. Say something. Do you get to the cloud no. Very often. All right. No, we're just gonna oh, let this guy talk instead. Of course you don't. With this meme line. 
Alrighty, so I could not let this video finish off without the actual dragon thing that I mentioned in the beginning of it. Whoops, hello, Steam. How are you doing? Alright then, whoop. Okay, time to fight my first dragon of the entire game. About time. So now, after this, I'll have random dragons spawn. Which has not happened uh, thus far in this game. <laughs> All 32 levels that I've uh, existed for. Uh, how long has this uh, save file been going for? Let's see here. Uh, oh my, I've been playing for 30 hours. <laughs> 30 hours of gameplay and not a single dragon fight so far. But uh, that itself is a meme too. Like not doing the main storyline quest and just like skipping it and doing a thousand other things before actually going back to it. Or just ignoring it altogether. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere... I agree. Spread out and look for survivors. All right. need to know what I was <laughs> I just, I don't know. I find it kind of funny how, like, the dragons have not existed at all in this entire gameplay for me. Just until now. It just, it feels so weird. Like, they're, they just were never anywhere... They're just completely missing missing in action. And, you know, I've been able to do all sorts of other things. Now, all of a sudden, now that I come to this particular spot, now all of the dragons will start spawning. Get back. It's still here somewhere. Porky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Godman, what happened here? Where here comes my crew. Here comes the crew. We're missing someone. Oh, there they are. Okay, but here he comes again. Oh, all right. All right, so here we go. Here comes my first dragon music. Can you imagine? I think. Oh no, it's just playing the regular fighting music. Oh, that's weird. No dragon music. That's disappointing. Oh well. I know that the dragon music does work because uh, before I was uh, when I was still testing my. When I, can I get up? When I was still testing the mods to see if they worked, and I was doing the... Oh my goodness, this is awful. Uh, when I was test testing to see if they worked, and I was doing the intro cutscene, the vanilla um, uh, initial cutscene, where, you know, uh, what's his face, Alduin shows up. Uh, yeah, the dragon music was playing then, so I, I know that it does work. Yes, I guess because this is like a scripted dragon fight or something, uh, that's a big no. Look at this! This is cool. Oh. I don't remember him being like a, a white dragon. That's interesting. I thought, I always thought the first dragon that you fight was yellow. Oh my, he's actually attacking me. Good thing I'm invincible. Oh, this is, wow, this is really awkward. Is he ever gonna, yeah, I don't think he's gonna land now, is he? Because uh, he just sees me here, question mark. Oh, no, there he goes. Well, he's still go for me though, is the question. He's not, no, he's going down there, or attacking down there. Somebody's zapping him. This is great. I think this particular spot, though, even though I'm being, you know, I'm, I'm getting attacked from here, I think this particular spot is perfect. Because I get to see everything. And I get to see the, the dragon up close. Yeah, that's a, that's a plus two, am I right? Oh my. Where'd he go? Oh. I can see behind the smoke. There he goes. Now he's landing. And there's <laughs> look at everybody. Go get him. Go get him. Boys and girls. Look at them. God, they're all good. Look at them go. They're, they're not messing around. Now he's probably gonna start attacking me again. I should I I think for now I should actually go down. He's speaking. I can barely like hear him speak. Where'd he go? God, you think the size of this dragon, you think I'd be able to see him all the time. Huh. Oh, here comes a dragon music. <laughs> Alright, so I decided to skip past that song because, uh, well, it's literally the Dragon Ball Super uh, Goku's uh, Ultra Instinct uh, theme. And I wasn't sure about the, you know, like the copyright status with that, so I decided not to go for it. Oh my, that was a lag. 
But yeah, I am, if that was any indication, I am 100% invincible when I'm in this form. Also, he's under half health, which means that he can no longer fly. So he's just gonna sit down here and just uh, attack and, and get hit and uh, yeah, get killed. Yeah, no, the first dragon actually was yellow. I remember this now. Yeah, I remember the first dragon being yellow. That's, yeah, that's interesting. It's a different color one. I think that's cool. I like that color, it's cool. Um, yeah, I got some pretty good stuff out of it. It's just the arrows that are just like stuck in them. Yeah, I'll just pull those out. And now I get my first dragon soul! Yay! I should really stop doing that. That's kind of, uh, that might make some people throw up. Yay! Oh my god, and I got an achievement for it and everything. Oh my god, oh wowie, wow, wow, woo, wow, woo. Hello. What's that? In the very oldest tales, <laughs> back from when there were still dragon. But I don't need some mythical. I like how um someone who can put down a dragon. Oddly enough, enough a bunch of this dialogue I think wasn't normally in the game. I I have a a, a mod called the cutting room floor and it restores a bunch of the content that was cut from uh, from Skyrim, so that might actually this might actually be part of it, because I don't remember some of this conversation. Can you? Have you tried? That was shouting. What you just did must be. You really are Dragonborn, then. Yeah. Oh boy, it's me. Oh boy, it's me. Oh boy, everybody's crouching. Yeah, we're dancing now. All right. Uh, okay. I guess that's it. Right? Oh, okay, cool. And now we get a, a message from the Greybeards. Let's uh, start walking back here. Should happen any second here. As I get closer to White Rum. Right? <laughs> White Run! <laughs> White Rum. Nice. <clears throat> Should happen any second. Good lord, why am I lagging so badly? Any second now. Eh, <laughs> here we go. Alrighty, so uh, I think that's gonna be it here. I'm gonna, if I can figure out how to get back to White Rum. Uh, my goodness, how am I? How am I this badly lost? What in the world? Oh, there we go. Now I see the path. Whoops. So I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like this video, why don't you subscribe or check out some of my other videos. There's more on the way, so stay tuned. Don't forget to give this video a big fat like. And if you want to uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, join my Discord, or even if you're feeling generous, donate to me. All of those links are in the video description below. So, uh, yeah. I think me and the crew... We're gonna, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go ahead and report on to Jarl Balgruf about uh, this whole dragon business. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be it. So for me, Mr. Playing with Mui, and all six of these dudes, I will see you all next time. <laughs>